Roused by a melody, I slowly open my eyes. Instead of an ocean of stars, I see the lapse from over seal. Ugh, what a bad dream. It's bright out. What time is it? My phone is ringing. It says I have mail. This must be what woke me up. Huh? Holy crap! Right, look, Echo, I'm not reading the shiny fingers. I'm Kyo Sa Masana. You familiar with Ghetto Froggies? They were a huge fad last year. We have tons of them. At the shrine, so if you like, could you take a few of our hands? Dad bought Hobrock's phone for some reason, and he said they were for me. I don't know what to do with them. P.S. I was so bewildered I couldn't do any practice swings to send my daddy. Uh, huh? I came like you said, oh cabby coon. You promised to show me the IBN 5100, remember? Are you there? Your windows are open and the lights are on. If you're there, can't, would you open the door? I'm out front. A male demon again? I thought I told her to stop with the staff. Check the clock, it's 9 a.m. It's like for over 15 hours. No wonder I feel so lethargic. I stifle a yawn as I unlock the door. <laughs> I open the door, I see Shining Funga, Kiryu Morika standing there looking down at her phone. <laughs> her expression doesn't change, but she bows her head slightly. I guess that's her way of saying sorry. I guess I can just leave her standing there, I will I guess I can't just leave her standing there. I reluctantly invite her in and then shut the door and collapse back onto the sofa. I'm still half asleep. I went to the trouble of inviting her in, but Morga just stands in the corner of the room. That was one hell of a nightmare. Maybe I'm more shocked by the truth of Sora's experiment than I thought I was. At any rate, I'm still drowsy. My vision's a little blurry too. I feel like yawning again. I feel this stifle at this time. Bloody male demon. More can not. Then she starts entering something on her phone. We're face to face, why is she sending me mail? I've never seen anyone act like this before. Maybe this is the curse of the Esper power known as Shining Finger! What the hell do you want? Alright, let's start through the... Now you sleep, ignore me. Yep, whatever. Whatever. Always dark and scary. I don't care! Did you go? Said I could come look, remember? True, I did say that. If you're going to visit someone, don't you usually let them know beforehand? Like back when we first met, and she took a picture of my face without the permission. 
Yes, I am the infamous mad scientist, Yoin Shoma, and quite the delicious talk. In my dealings with dark powers, I've learned secrets that could topple governments. People would love to get their hands on my knowledge. Of course, that's why I'm being chased by the organization. That's why I refuse all interviews and photo ops. And now comes this woman, aiming to get me while I still have a sleep. A dirty trick, but effective. <laughs> but Morka doesn't react to my sharp accusation. Am I wrong about her? <laughs> oh, now she's talking. Too bad I don't understand what she means. <laughs> I don't miss the way Morka quickly scans the room. <laughs> I won't sell or lend it to her no matter what. This machine is critical to a hacking operation against her, the enemy. Lock her bait her loop. But she soon knows faintly. I open the curtains to the little bell. Off to the side is the cardboard box with the IBN 5100 inside. So Pointed by dirty my shit. Marker slowly walks up to the cardboard box, takes a breath, and peeks inside. Her eyes instantly light up as she stares at the machine in fascination. Maybe she's not only a male demon, but she's also a retro PC maniac. Or maybe she's even a pervert with a retro PC fetish. No way, I don't want to live in the same world as perverts on that level. After staring at the IBM 500 for a few moments, Morgan starts cheerfully typing out a mail. What an annoying woman! <laughs> Unless I pace, place strict restrictions on photography, she might snap my picture when I'm not paying attention. I'm being chased by the organization, so I can't expose my face to the media. Morka stops moving once I give her my instructions. <laughs> Morka silently places her phone in the shop. She doesn't like go, she keeps a hand on it. Morka nods, still expression. I thought she was doing a magazine article, but she's using her phone. Something tells me she's not very good at her job. Or maybe she's just so nervous about interviewing me that she forgot her camera. At any rate, I'm starting to feel sorry for her. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Marka starts shooting at, at starts shooting at the IBN the the IBN well, whatever. Marka starts taking pictures of the IBN 500. Typos glow there. She doesn't even glance at the great showing Shoma. <laughs> she may act like she doesn't care, but I can tell she's waiting for me to lower my guard since she can't she can't deceive these eyes of mine. Sure, me is worth millions to the right people. Given her stalker like behavior, it seems safe to assume that I am the true focus of her interest. But I won't be exposed so easily. I feel sorry for her, but I can't let the organization fight. I've been on the run for so long that caution has become habit. Leave no trace of where you've been. Stay vigilant around the clock. That's how you stay alive. I kept my guard up, ready to respond with lethal force should she attempt to take my picture. But five minutes later, she's still focused on the IBN 5100. It's like I'm not even in the room. She dares attack my pride. A fearsome opponent indeed. Thirteen minutes later, Morka is still taking pictures. The period between shutter sounds is lengthened, but she's still adjusts her. But she's still adjusting her angle for every shot. Her expression is completely serious. Come on, it's a computer, not a supermodel. I watch her work from the lounge as I munch on, on a breakfast banana. I would have preferred to get something from the convenience store, but I didn't want to leave Morka alone. I know the IBN 500 is too heavy for her to carry, but still, there's no telling what this fanatic will do if I let her on my sight. Suddenly I get another mail. No! 
Da me da to itta daro. Direct my answer towards the devil. So mo so mo. So re wa kyouak na omosa da kara na. Oma i hitori de wa hakobe nai. Nope. いやいや待てい。なぜ貸すのが前提になっているのだ。貸さないと言っているだろうが。本当に。本当だ。どうしても。どうしてもだ。また again she does her thing typing on a phone at high speed。I don't care。Did she really have to send me a one-word email? いいかよく聞け。幻のレトロ PC、IBN 5100はその主人としてこの俺、法院強魔を選び契約した。それが厳然たる事実。神ですら歪められぬ決定事項、シュタインズゲートの選択だ。そもそも契約において、俺は一時的にこれの力を借りているに過ぎない。使い終われば元の所有者に返すことになる。Stop with the mails already。教えることはできんな。守秘義務もまた契約の中に含まれているし、IBN 5100を狙う連中から元の所有者を守るためでもある。I mean anything could happen. What am I to do? Look as dad, for instance, and get the lens of the IBN 5100. And then I couldn't complain if Morka took it away. It must have worked at all costs. Of course, I don't think Morka can seduce anyone with her personality, and since Luca's dad has a wife and kids, I don't think he'd fall easily either. Stop emailing me. The more you found it right. No. Probably just thinking too much. Morka, meanwhile, is standing at the floor in what I assume is defeat. I'm not so much of a fool. 俺は俺の目的のためにこれと契約した。その目的を果たした後ならば、次はお前が契約できるように元の所有者と交渉してやってもいい。When I return the IBN 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine, Ragnarok will be over, and the fate of the world will have already been decided. そして、ラグナロックが勝利に終わろうと敗北に終わろうと、この法王院教魔の人生は。その頃にはもういや今の言葉は忘れてくれそんな先のことなど今は考えている場合ではないからなそれより場所を Jeez I had some good angst going there but she's obvious she's just oblivious to the mood IBN5100 は柳林神社にあった Just then, I hear the sound of the door opening. Morka twitches. I look into the lounge and see Dario wiping the sweat of his brow with a towel as he comes in. Good morning. Zui bun hoyai no. Ever since university went into summer break, Dario has been coming to the lab in the morning, less than that. But then again, he's also been staying up all night more and more. Kino yugata kara ne hajimeta kara sa. Asa goji ni mezameta zo na mochi. あ暑い午前中なのにこの暑さとかありえなさすぎだろ上皇おおおかりそちらのエロセクシーな三次元女性はどなたでありますかあ,あ紹介しようシャイニングフィンガーキリュウモエガシャイニングフィンガーだと俺のこの手が光ってなるうならない。だが能力者だ。ちょ、能力とかねえ。見ればわかるはずだ。こいつは間違いなく能力者だよ。まあいいや。よろしく起流し。Even though Daru bowed his head, Marka doesn't do so much as look at him. She's not looking down at her phone, not as she ever really looked away. That he turns red. No, 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 no,
えー、っと萌えかねこの男こそ俺のマイフェイバリットライトアームスーパーハカーの誰だ<笑> More like a lawyer's with chin, imperceptibly. That's supposed to be about. Her expression as a chase at all, I think Dara says it was cleanly with her one ear and not the other. She was so eager to meet the super hacker before. Hey! Yabai Eh, it sounds dirty. Wait! I'll work! Uh, no. <laughs> That's not how these things work. <laughs> Damn. Those jokes aren't even helping. That's right, in yesterday's experiment, my phone was attached to the phone with an answer to check. The socket to my inbox got flooded with emails. それって結構不便じゃん。電話レンジ専用携帯に転送機能をつけちゃえば、その専用携帯を経由して好きな番号にDメールを送れるわけ。改良にはどれぐらいかかる？二三時間じゃね？他にも手伝ってくれたらだけ
あるいはしかも今すぐでも猶予はない他に選択肢もない我がラボの秘密を知った以上貴様に覚悟を決めてもらうぞ気流の萌えか殺す貴様が事実を公表しようとするならばこの狂気のマッドサイエンティスト大いに今日もあまり舐めない方が身のため何オカリンまた始まったん ?There is Danny behind me. I turn around as a prize. h o l えっと、キリュウだっけオカリンのこれは一種の病気だから気にしないでオケ。Don't you see what's going on, Super Hacker? バカ者がお前のおかつな発言のせいで電話レンジカッコ仮のタイムマシンとしての機能がバレてしまったのだぞ<laughs> This is awful. Everything that could go wrong just did. How do I recover? Of course, I need to silence more. Okay. I dropped to my knees in utter despair. We're finished. It's impossible to talk our way out of this one. キリュウの親子全て話そうその上で頼みがある震えよ我が右腕契約に基づき命じる漆黒の極縁をまといて我が望みすなわち破壊の衝動を満たせえっ I pull hard with both my arms, tearing the micro door free with a terrible scream. Did I miss something? I'll tell you everything and I've. No, I didn't miss anything. Weird. Jump cut. The screws were loosened, but it sounds like I might have broken something too. Ah,、oh, well, whatever. Ah, <laughs> タイムマシンなのだ方法だよじゃあオカリ新しく電子レンジ買ってきてよそんな金はない That's right, this was Dara's idea Moving the microwave door means we don't have to open it every time we want to send an email Dara is currently reprogramming the microwave so that it won't stop when the door is open He's already programmed the forwarding feature サーチェーは禁止だと言っている記念に何の記念だとにかく取るなワーカーコンプライズ I registered her as a lab member's number 005 just to show her It was a choice between letting her leak word of the time machine or forcing her to join our group I reluctantly chose the last one Morka is standing right next to me, but my monologue is not there. She s a y she wants to ask me something. No, no. Honto, that. Oh, my name, I'm not going to be here. That's a dead tiny call, guys. Chris is lying on the sofa, looks up from the technical manual she was reading. She got here about 30 minutes ago. ミスターブラウンとこう約束したのだ。今日はもう揺らさないと誓う。とな。つまり、揺らさないと約束したのは昨日だけであって。
昨日から見るところの明日である今日は揺らしても問題ないのだ何の解決にもなってないだろうどうしてそこまで自信満々でいられるのか不思議つまりこう言いたいのかクリスティーナミスター・ブラウンやれと言っとらんわそれに岡部みたいな巨老が向かっていってもあの店長にはかなわないでしょムキムキだもんね He's a brick wall t h e n I'm a twig Unfortunately it's possible to experiment without shaking the building I have no choice but to negotiate for Mr. Brown somehow The other four members look at me in a test fish They're planning to sacrifice me While trying to think of a way to avoid talking to the manager, I wander over to the window and look outside.、Hmm? The street below is mostly empty. A girl is polishing her bicycle in front of the building. A much younger girl is squatting next to her, watching her work. They're low. I can only see the backs of their heads from here, but I know who they are. So, go to the bite, Sensei! When I call her, she's a h a l l o w slack. Android, whilst wiping the sweat off her brow, while finally looking up here. The girl beside her also looks up. This cute little girl is Tenno j o n a i Mr. Brown's only daughter, l o o k s like she came to play with her father today. I've always wondered how it's possible for such a muscular man to spawn such a cute girl. n a i bows her head when we make eye contact. I return the nod and then call out to Susa. So, what are you doing? Meet him, I'm a fan. You can't tell me how to do it. You can't tell me how to do it. You're polishing your bicycle even though you're at work. I mean, I guess the store barely has any customers. To put it bluntly, was there even a need for a part timer? I can hear Chris's sour voice from inside the lab. They say they're still fighting. Same thing, assistant. My assistant, so picky, junk shop was just a joke to add a little showing s h o m o r spice to the mix. The little girl diligently corrects us on her father's name. She must not get the joke. It's a blessing from the gods. I give my gratitude to Potter and Warrior and shift my attention back inside. Kitatori. Kurekosa. Stein's Gator, Sentakanano.